Blaine and I married on February 19, 2005. Prior to us getting married um, in September, with a routine checkup with my GP, noticed a lump. Wasn't suspicious at all at that point, was just busy with getting married and the excitement with getting married and um, heading off on our honeymoon. Upon coming back from our honeymoon and having gone through a biopsy, ultrasound and scan, nothing came back positive. So I elected to remove part of the thyroid where the lump was. After having found out that the lump was thyroid carcinoma, I had to undergo a complete thyroidectomy. In an era of personalized medicine, there's very few institutions or clinicians that can really sort of walk the walk, talk the talk. And Dr. Walfish has revolutionized thyroid oncology with a recent publication looking at the use of radioactive iodine. So traditionally guidelines would say that patients based on age, gender, all sorts of clinical factors would always get radioactive iodine after treatment. But he took a different approach and uses a novel type of thyroglobulin blood test that's done after surgery. And with that blood test, he's been able to reduce the amount of radioactive iodine given to patients by over 90%. That means that there's only 10% of patients that actually benefit from it, and the other 90% don't need it. Had it not been for Dr. Walfish, I don't know where I would be. I don't know if I'd be able to leave a sustainable life, have my two children, be married for 10 years, not be the person that I am. My family, when I look, reflect back, were a true testament uh, of what his clinic can provide, of what he can provide, of what Mount Sinai can provide, and give you know, people like ourselves uh, you know, a healthy and successful life. Well, the Da Vinci Gala has been absolutely critical for the advancement of thyroid oncology at Mount Sinai Hospital. The lab that Dr. Walfish runs would not be possible without the generous support of all of the donors. The lab is vital to not only clinical uh, medicine, but also to basic science research. Dr. Walfish and his team have developed novel ways of detecting cancer in cells from the thyroid using fine needle aspiration biopsy and they're really revolutionizing the way that we're going to treat, manage, and care for these patients in the future. A heartful thank you goes out to you, both Dr. Walfish and Dr. Freeman, for your continuous commitment in enabling me to continue my life stress-free, worry-free. I can continue to operate a sustainable life with my family, a happy life. I feel I owe it to Dr. Walfish um, and his team for what they've allowed me to achieve and, and, and Desiree to achieve in our lives with our two children. And really, I, I can't express enough gratitude to Dr. Walfish for all of his care and his team and our committee. I mean, when you look around um, at all the successes we have, we do uh, pack a big punch. Overall, I, I think uh, Paul Walfish has done a tremendous service to his patients, uh, to our hospital, Mount Sinai Hospital, to the Lunenfeld and Tannenbaum Research Institute, he has worked for almost 50 years tirelessly. I can't think of a more deserving person uh, to be honored and recognized at an event such as the Da Vinci Gala. Uh, it's really the patrons of this gala who are supporting Dr. Walfish and his work, which is really important and vital to the continuing success that Dr. Walfish has had. And I really commend uh, our sponsors and our patrons for this wonderful evening.